In today's video, we're exploring the top three Motorola ham radios on the market. Whether you're a seasoned ham radio operator or just exploring the world of ham radios, I've got something for everyone. My selection process is thorough and unbiased. I understand the importance of clear, reliable communication, and that's why I am here to guide you through these top picks. Price information and all ham radios mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number 3. Motorola CP100D Best Budget Motorola Ham Radio Motorola CP100D is amongst the most price-conscious options available from the brand. Pushing the value proposition and usability options, Motorola offers this radio and several variants to suit your needs. You could get this radio with no display or keypad, with a display and limited keypad, or a display and full keypad. It can work in the digital mode with Moto Turbo or conventional analog VHF or UHF modes and the analog variants can be upgraded to digital when desired. All these options can have custom programming as desired, though these radios are not user programmable. Dealer intervention is necessary in most cases. All of this might seem cumbersome for the average user. However, Motorola Solutions isn't targeting individuals with these radios. They are meant for business and commercial operations where it might be desirable to have the handheld transceivers programmed to specific settings. Now, each of these options brings some functional changes apart from the change in appearance. The devices with a screen and keypad work with 160 channels, while the no screen and no keypad model works on 16 channels. Additionally, the limited keypad gets two programmable buttons, while the full keypad gets five programmable buttons. You, or rather the business, will need an FCC license to operate these radios and a separate software license is needed from Motorola for the use of digital modes and Moto Turbo, though that's usually included with the purchase. The CP100D is rather well suited for business requirements because the radio is incredibly easy to operate but can also handle some complex requirements, especially in the full keypad versions. It is repeater capable, has good transmit power, and offers good TX and RX audio quality. Motorola CP100D offers a maximum transmit power of 5 watts on VHF and 4 watts on UHF. It comes with a standard 1750 mAh battery that can keep the radio running for about 14 hours. If you need more juice, Motorola also offers a battery upgrade to a 2150 mAh battery with a claimed use time of 20 hours. Overall, the Motorola CP100D offers ease of use, convenient pricing, and good performance. The availability of customization options makes it easier to get the radio suitable for your specifications and requirements. To sum up what I like is the good build quality, the good range of customization options, it can work both in digital and analog modes, good audio quality, Moto Turbo has excellent performance, and good battery performance. On the downside, available options can be confusing. Our rating for features is 8 out of 10, ease of use 9 out of 10, signal quality TXRX 9 out of 10, build quality 7.5 out of 10, value for money 8 out of 10, for an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 2. Motorola R7 Best Premium Motorola Ham Radio Motorola intends for the R7 to be its flagship portable radio, so it gets top-of-the-line features, options, and performance. It also gets a big price tag, making this a premium option, and there are several good reasons for its flagship status. The build quality is great, the display is remarkable, the audio quality is phenomenal, and there are many impressive features. Looking at the build quality, the radio is fairly compact, though not tiny, and the casing is dependable. Motorola R7 is rated IP68, which means it is dustproof and waterproof. The color display is pretty good too. It's clear, crisp, and shows good detail. While the backlight is good and works fairly well in the sun, the display also has something of a transflective touch. This keeps the display visible even in the sun and without the backlight. Plus, the menus are very well laid out, and general information is easy to understand. Motorola R7 is also available in the no display variant, but that ends up giving up several features that make this such an impressive handheld transceiver. Similar thoughtful implementation is visible in the audio quality. The speaker is very clear and offers great audio. Motorola has also done some thoughtful engineering for the transmitted audio. There are two microphones on this transceiver. The microphone at the back catches ambient noise and works for noise cancellation. 
Meanwhile, the microphone at the front works conventionally and picks up audio from the user. As with conventional ham radios, this one too offers a maximum 5 watt transmit power on VHF and 4 watt on UHF. It also works on the 800-900 MHz band, though the transmit power is limited to 2.5 watts for this band. That said, this is a digital radio at heart and prefers to work with DMR where the magic of Moto Turbo shines. Other features for the Motorola R7 include GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.2, and it can handle third-party apps. Even though this is a business ham radio, it gets quite close to being a smartphone as well. Overall, Motorola R7 is a remarkable handheld radio that shows good range, has clear communication, and is convenient to use. It is expensive, but its capabilities can very well justify the price tag. To sum up what I like is the amazing build quality. It's rated IP68. It can work on UHF, VHF, or 800-900 MHz single band only. Good range of customization options. It can work in digital and analog modes. Excellent audio quality. It includes GPS, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. Moto Turbo has excellent performance and good battery performance. On the downside, it's expensive, and it's not user programmable. Our rating for features is 9.5 out of 10. Ease of use, 9 out of 10. Signal quality, TXRX, 10 out of 10. Build quality, 9.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9.5 out of 10. Number 1. Motorola XPR 2500 our top choice. The conventional mobile radio form factor, reasonably high output power, convenient use, and easy access to digital modes make the Motorola XPR 2500 our top choice. This one isn't rich in features as the handheld Motorola R7, but then the XPR 2500 isn't intended as a flagship. It's a workhorse that knows its job and does it well. It is a digital transceiver working on DMR and Moto Turbo. Users can have it on UHF or VHF with limitations on maximum output power. The maximum power output for UHF is 40 watts, while that for a VHF is 45 watts. Both bands are also available in variants with 25 watt maximum power. The build quality is pretty good. Although the body is made of plastic, the casing is tough and durable. The rear of the radio has a big and well-placed heatsink, ensuring that the transceiver doesn't heat up even when working on max power. The front of the radio has a simple interface. It has a small screen with a few buttons around it. The speaker takes one side of the front while a small power button and an RJ45 microphone connector find room on the other side of the screen. Amongst the six buttons placed below the display, there are four programmable buttons, one menu button, and a home back button. There are few buttons as compared to most mobile radios, and yet that's one of the plus points of this transceiver. It's remarkably easy to operate. Handling the menus is easy, and the presence of programmable buttons lets the user take the proverbial wheel on this mobile radio. While the radio is not user programmable, these programmable buttons offer the slightest touch of customization available directly to the user. While the display is small, it's crisp, clear, backlit, and shows all information, including menus. It's easy to navigate and makes it easy to find the information and settings you want. It remains visible during the day and doesn't get garishly bright at night. The same careful approach is also visible with audio transmissions. The transceiver uses an intelligent system to find ambient noise in the vehicle and filters it out when transmitting. The speaker also offers good audio quality and is fairly clear. Motorola includes the PMMN4090 compact palm microphone with the mobile radio. The mic is good quality, but with a simple build. The PTT button on the mic has good resistance and feels satisfying to work with. Overall, Motorola XPR2500 offers ease of use combined with the availability of high transmit power. With digital technology, the audio quality is remarkable and the radio balances performance and value deftly. To sum up what I like is the good build quality, the good heat management, the clear audio TX and RX. It works on digital mode, UHF or VHF. Max output power 45 watts on VHF, 40 watts on UHF. It's easy to operate and good performance. On the downside, it's not user programmable and there are no analog mode options. Our rating for features is 8 out of 10. Ease of use, 9 out of 10. Signal quality, TXRX, 9 out of 10. Build quality, 8.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10.